this is your typical rear axle and what we're going to do here is we're going to show you how to pull them off with a hub puller. Uh, most people think, you know, you undo the nut here and you put on your, your clamp uh, puller that will pull off here, but what it actually does is it bends your drum or your hub up and what I'm going to show you to do is what, what the typical hub puller looks like. This is your typical hub puller. This is actually from OTC Tools and uh, when you buy it from them, they're a three lug puller. So what you could do is you could buy the extra two legs, they come off as you see here, and they actually slide on and then they're locked on. And what this is going to do is once it's on, you're going to beat on this, there's a little arm that goes on here, and you're going to beat on this, and it's going to push on the center of the axle and pull on the drum and hub at the same time. Now what I'll do is I'll show you how to take this apart. First thing you got to do is take off this cap. Sometimes it come off easy, sometimes it come off real hard. And then here's a nut with a cotter pin in it. Gotta pull the cotter pin out. Here's your typical cotter pin. Just the one tab or, or both sides will be bent over so that the nut cannot come off. Okay. You take a, an adjustable wrench. Sometimes these are on really hard, sometimes they're on really tight. It all depends who put them on. Most of the time they're finger tight, you know. Here's your your castle nut and here's the washer. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna put this this uh, hub puller on the, on the hub here. Now like I said you want to have one that pulls on all five lugs at the same time. That's the best one you can get. All you do is put your lug nuts that you had that you have taken off before to hold the wheel on. Put them on here. Alright, once you have all the nuts on there and tight, you just go over it once with the with your wrench here. They're a little hard to get into. One, you don't want this one real loose, or, or this side real loose and this side real tight, because it'll pull it off awkward and it usually gets stuck then. Here is you put this this handle on here, and this you'll actually hit with your sledgehammer. And what it'll do is it'll drive this worm in there and pull it out. Some of them come off real easy, some of them come off real hard. Just keep on moving it around until you're You can see here now the gap is getting bigger in the back here because it's pulling it away. Sometimes you can take them, once they're this far, usually you can take them by hand and just pull them. See here, the shoes are stuck in there. They're, it's just pulling the shoes away with the, with the drum. Sometimes when these hubs are on there, they're on so tight that you got to bang it a couple times this way. You know, with all the anger and frustration you got, and then bang it this way to give it a jolt to break it loose. Some will fly across the floor, some will come off like this one. This one was really easy. We didn't take it apart before it happened, so. That's it.